What's going on campers? Camp Facey here. Welcome back to another Texas Chainsaw Massacre the Game video. We have a big one here. We have new characters, new content, new map, and a big patch dropping Tuesday, November 28th. Let's get into it. Camp Facer. So before we get into the video, if you're new here, make sure to check out the channel. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing. I thank you guys. Let's get into it. Gun Interactive yesterday over on Twitch, it was Matt and Sid. They did a live stream and they announced a bunch of new things coming to the game November 28th. It's on a Tuesday. It's less than two weeks away. You guys, this is going to be a great update, a big, big one, a huge update. Uh, over 250 fixes in the patch, uh, a lot of balance issues. We're going to talk about a few new ones that they talked about in this live stream here in a second, but we also have a new victim coming. They announced a victim named Danny is coming to the game and a new family member called Nancy uh, is coming to the game and along with that, a new map and the map is called Nancy's House Map, I believe. And they didn't get into a lot of details or anything like that, but we have that plus all the bug fixes in the patch to over 250. This is a big update. Hopefully it fixes a lot of the balance issues uh, and things. And we're going to talk about that. Let's, let's get into what they had to talk about. Starting off, they mentioned uh, victims will now have a 60 second cooldown on their abilities at the start of a match. Let's hear what they had to say. Yeah, I'm gonna start off. And so one of the first changes that y'all are gonna be able to see is that victims are now gonna start off with a 60 second cooldown on their abilities um, at the start of a match. This change is brought to you by just us wanting to kind of incentivize stealth play and trying to stop some of the rush meta that we've seen in game. Now, to me, you guys, I, I feel like that could change the game a little bit it, the, the 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 rush meta anyways it's going to slow them down a little bit because you know connie cannot go over and crack the lock immediately and everybody follow behind her and then start running to the top so now people are going to have to watch out for leatherface a little be a little more careful and yeah it, it, it could be for the better or the worse we're gonna have to wait and see how it all plays out Moving on to the next one, they mentioned noise will now stick to you and follow you. That brings me to the next point that I've got to make. And it's that noise is now going to start to follow victims for a few seconds. Um, so when you are spamming that toolbox, when you're going through that bone pile, when you're running through bone charms, if you set off a nugget, there you go. You slam a door, um, those noise pings will follow you for a little bit. That one's going to be a little tricky. It's going to slow people down a lot because you, it sticks to you. You go running through uh, bones or the bone pile or slam a door and you start running upstairs, that red ping is going to stick to your character and it's going to slowly fade away. And then family members are going to be able to track you down a lot easier. But I'm glad, you know, they're they're trying to slow the meta down, you know, make make players play more stealthy because that's w the way the game was basically intended to be you guys this is a texas chainsaw massacre a lot of people out there that are victim means that that are complaining that um you know uh the the family is too op well you know it should be you're you're trespassing you're you're victims of the most brutal killers that love to do nothing but eat people and, and chop them up for barbecue i mean come on you guys uh moving over to the next one they talk about uh johnny will no longer be able to track victims if they are crouch walking the next point i have is that victims will now stop leaving footprints for johnny to follow if they're moving at the slowest pace while crouching um, which means if you're crouch walking now to me johnny was a little bit annoying being able to track every single damn step that you make for the most part i know there was a cooldown on it but every time I was a victim, no matter how far or where I went or how stealthy I was being, he'd always be able to track me down. And I'm like, that's a little crazy. I'm glad that they, they, they're fixing that one and dialing it down a little bit. Uh, moving over to the next one they talk about, uh, Leatherface will no longer be required in a match. 
Let's hear what they had to say and we'll discuss. Will there be a possible way to make Leatherface not mandatory? Mm. And do you guys have any ideas, plans, or incentives to get more people to play Leatherface? I still run into lobbies with people refusing to play him. Okay, so the first part of that question was, will there be a way to make Leatherface not mandatory? Yeah. Yes, and that's coming by the end of the month. So you will not have to play, you will no longer need Leatherface to start a match. Now you guys, I know, we all know Leather. this is his game. This is like the movie, the Leatherface. How could you play a match without Leatherface? I don't understand why people don't like to play Leatherface to begin with. I always play him, I love him. If I try to be a hitchhiker and nobody else wants to be Leatherface, I take one for the team and I pick him anyway. So I get stuck with him more so than, you know. So, but the point is, they're letting you play the matches now without having him. And I'm game for it, but it might not work out so well because they mentioned that there's not going to be any change or adjustments just because you don't have a leather face. Originally, I thought maybe they would get rid of some. If, if you're not, if there's no leather face on the map, I thought they would get rid of some of the barricades in the basement, but that's not the case. They're still going to be there. So now it might be a little more difficult if you don't have a leather face in certain situations and scenarios. So we're going to have to wait and see how this all works out. But the most part is they did this because of the lobby dodging. And we'll have to wait and see how it all works out. Moving over to the next one they talk about. Escape exits will now automatically trigger an escape. Let's hear what they had to say and we'll discuss. The next thing I have on the docket is that we're actually going to be changing the position of detection at escape gates. So what this means is that once a player has crossed the gate, it will now trigger as they've escaped. Um, this change is to kind of help prevent players from being able to camp and teabag at exits um, from outside of the gate. Um, we're looking at you, Slaughterhouse. <laughs> This one I agree with. I, I get it. They don't want people dancing around, teabagging, wasting time for people to end the match. Uh, I've, I've had matches where I'm um, family and there's one victim alive and we're looking for him. And, oh, there he is. He's at the end of the driveway dancing on the other side of the fence. And it's like, come on, end the match already. It's It, it really does get annoying. I get it. Um, I was kind of hoping they would do like what Matt from gun was uh, talking about a couple streams ago he said he thought it would be cool if they had the black maria truck come down quick hill road and run somebody over if they were dancing around too long like a timer but it would be like an automatic cinematic kill or something like that but they're going this direction and you know i'm kind of disappointed that i can't like as a victim run left or right down quick hill road anymore um, I kind of enjoyed that, but I would never sit around and dance, but I, I understand this. I get it. Uh, moving on over to the next one they talk about. Uh, the gas station map will now relocate fuse spawns in new locations because they were located too close to the fuse box. Let's hear what they had to say, and then we will discuss. Here, let me go into the next thing. Um, speaking of some changes, um, we're going to be making some improvements to gas station. Um, we're now going to be changing where the fuse pickup locations are so they're not going to spawn so close to the fuse box. Um, and we're pretty uh, excited to see how that's going to play out in gameplay now, um, just because sometimes they'd spawn pretty close to one another and it'd be not the way that we intended for that to play out. I so. mean, the people were sharing straight people were sharing straight up screenshots with us on Reddit where the, the fuse was here and directly across the walkway that was the fuse box. and it's Now this one, I feel like it's not going to matter. Once a victim finds a fuse, wherever it's located, <clears throat> the rush meta on that's still going to be a pain in the ass for the family. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. I, I just kind of hope that you know they put it far enough away where it's a pain in the ass to march all the way back to the fuse box. Kind of slowing the fuse box escapes down a little more. The last thing they talk about is a cook's ability recharge will be fixed or nerfed. Let's hear what they had to say and we'll discuss. Next thing, um, speaking of tuning, um, we're going to be talking about cook in this next point. We're changing how his ability charge ticks down. Um, so now um, the way that it's going to work is that it's going to tick down correctly while being actively used as opposed to just honing in and focusing in on a victim. Um, and this is to help with Cook's spamming ability, which we saw plenty of speaking in the subreddit of the Cook is heard you, Cook is heard you. So. Now that one seemed a little broken to me. I get it. Uh, 
but I agree as a victim, I got so annoyed if I kept hearing that cook pinging me and pinging me over and over. But when I play cook, that's what I do too. So I use it and abuse it. So they're going to dial that down. So um, let's see how frustrating it's going to be to be cook now. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for the video. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one. And as always, campers, stay out of the woods. Guys? Anyone there? You guys, help me. Help me over here. Please help get me out of here. They're coming. Guys, help. Get me out. What the fuck was that?